Hey, what is up, Raptors? Welcome back to the Hash Raptor YouTube channel. If you're new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that like button. It really, really does mean a lot to us. Hey, today we are taking a relook at the NVIDIA 1660 non-TI graphics card versus the 1660 TI. Now, we did do a video on this before, but we stopped short of doing a deep dive on some of the algorithms like Zcoin and the MTP protocol. And if you watch this channel, you know that we're a big fan of what Zcoin is doing. I love what Ruben's got going on over there. And it was pointed out recently to us some of the results that what to mine is showing, as well as the buying power for some of you in your local fiat currency is greater for the 1660 versus the 1660 Ti. Now, I can't speak to that in the various countries around the world, but what we can do together is take a look at the mining results and see if it pans out. And maybe the 1660 is the better card for you to buy in certain situations to build your rig around. But hey, let's take a look at this together today. Here we go. The big warm fuzzy secret heart. Okay, welcome back Raptors. So we're working really hard on the mining shed outside. We're trying to get that done because that's going to give us so much more capacity for new builds and some other new fun projects that we can bring to you. But we've got to get that done first. We're super close. We've got a couple hurdles we've got to overcome with electrical and a few other things. But thanks for being patient with us as we've slowed down the pace of the videos we're getting out. It's going to pick up again soon. Now, since we're talking 1660 and 1660 TIs again today, which as you know, it's a favorite here on the channel, I did wanna squeeze in a couple points. Now, we've started collecting motherboard compatibility with the 1660 and 1660 TIs. And I'm gonna to put together a list and get that out to you in another video since that's not what we're talking about here today. But I did wanna tell you that in the background while we've been building the shed this week, I've been doing some testing on our Asus Strix Z270e gaming motherboard, which I know a lot of you have. It, I wouldn't say it's one of the biggest motherboards that was sold last year in 2018 for mining, but it was a popular one. And this one I really enjoy. Its performance is fantastic. I can mine on Wi-Fi with this, which is built into the motherboard. Pretty much any graphics card I put on there, I have no problems. And I did drop in the 1660 and the 1660 Ti on this board, and I can report that for about maybe close to two weeks now, they have been running near flawlessly on this board. So again, I'll continue to bring you some updates on that and the various boards that I can report are working or the ones that you all are telling me works. So we will keep you up to speed there, so stay tuned. But today, let's dive right into the topic at hand. Again, you saw that we did the 1660 hash rate review video, and we got loads of great feedback from you guys on this. There's a lot of interest in this card. And we pitted it a little bit against the TI model, which again, we did extensive coverage on that with the MSI models, the Gigabyte models, and the EVGA models. But when we posted this 1660 hash rate, we tested a few of the main algorithms, and we didn't do a deep dive into Zcoin. Well, Recently, one of our viewers, Eduardo Garcia, asked this question. Which is better for Zcoin, the 1660 or 1660 Ti? I see in what to mine that the 60 gets 1.95 mega hash, and with the 1660 Ti, it gets 1.85. Is it true? That's the question. So let's take a quick look together. If I come out here to what to mine, if we look at the 1660, let's do a refresh on here and we're gonna calculate. We come down here, look at this. Zcoin is at the top of the list and it's showing 0.71 cents per day. So a little under a dollar a day, about 29 cents under a dollar a day US. But it's also showing 1.95 mega hash at 100 watts. Now let's compare that to what they're saying the TI gets on Zcoin. So here we go, we've got the TIN, let's calculate that. And for Zcoin, we're showing 0.68 cents US. And we are showing 1.85 mega hash per second at 100 watts. So sure enough, what to mine is showing that the 1660 is the best card to go with for mining Zcoin right now. And it, this is a six gigabyte card. Now keep that in mind. It is using GDDR5 memory, but it appears at least with the state that the MTP algorithm is in now after rolling back to support six gig cards that 
it's possible that the non-TI model is the way to go. And again, for me, I looked at this, I've, I've said it if you've seen my reviews before, I like the TI because I can't know this for certain, but I feel like I'm gonna get better resale value out of that in the future. And I get a little bit more breadth across different algorithms. However, that being said, if you are on a budget or if your fiat, your local fiat currency buying power is much greater on the 1660 versus the 1660 TI than it is for us here in the US, then this really might be the way to go. You might build an all 1660 Z coin mining rig. But that's how we're framing this video up today. That's the way the question was put to us, and that is what what to mine is showing. Now let's dive in. Let's rework some of our results on the TI model, which we've got in here now, and let's see what we're getting currently on the 1660, and see if this all makes sense. So let's jump right into that. Okay, Raptors, I'm going to show you some live results so that you know I'm not fudging anything here. We don't do that on this channel, but sometimes we get new viewers that don't know us well, and we've got to earn their trust. So we're going to show this to you live. However, I'm going to show you four results I got currently, and I put uh, today's date on here, so it's July 25th, 2019. And I also dropped in, I'm going to start doing this from now on, the minor version we're using, and I'm going to put that in the algorithm that we're testing. Now, also, the other thing I should point out is I am using DJM34 version 1.1.25, and you can see that here. This is the latest release for me as of today. And the reason I'm using the CC minor fork from DJM34 is for a couple reasons. I like it. Uh, two, it is the official miner of the Zcoin team, but you can certainly try some of the other miners that are out there. Okay, so we've got the 1660 Ti in the machine here, and we did four quick um, tests on here, and we tried the out-of-the-box settings again with the latest miner. We were at 100% on the power limit, and we've got zero on the core, zero on the memory, and we came out at 2.188 mega hash per second, and that is at 119 watts. Now, you know that here on this channel, we're very, very interested in what the efficiency is as well, and what the value is of the card. So keep that in mind here. So we've got a lower efficiency when we look at the mega hash per watt. So we're gonna continue on here and look at some other settings. So we drop this down to 58% on the power limit, and that put us at 69.5 watts, and that gave us 1.722 mega hash per second. And we got a very similar result uh, when we uh, upped the core clock to 100. So uh, without really pushing that and spending a, a whole episode on diving deep, which we did do previously, take a look at our Zcoin Miner's Guide. We've got a four-part video series on Zcoin if you wanna dive deeper on all the miners, all the pools that are available, and the overclock settings and all that good stuff. But um, you can see here, we got very similar results. Now, our best result was around 89 watts, and we were at 2.05 mega hash, and that gave us a mega hash per watt of 0 0.023. So, 89 watts, 2.05. All right, so before we go and we move over to the 1660, I do wanna show you one thing. I said I was gonna get you some live results because this is just spreadsheet talk okay here we go this is the power consumption we're looking at right at between 88 and 90 watts uh, looking at gpu z now this is really accurate uh, i put this up against the the tekken wi-fi switch we have at the wall and we've shown that before in other videos so we know that this is matching up really closely here okay here's our afterburner settings we are running with a core clock of 100 the Power limit is set to set to 75, and memory is at zero. Fan speed locked at 70%, and we're at about 56 degrees Celsius. And if I jump over here, you can see this is uh, CC Miner, and our 1660 Ti is running. It's It's been climbing back up since I turned off the screen recording software, and we're at about 2.05 mega hash. Per second. All right, now that you know I'm not fudging any numbers here, you've seen it live, let's switch over real quick to that 1660, get it installed, and get going. Here we go. All 
All right, Raptors, so we've got the 1660 in, and this is our first test, and I've got a live view for you here. So we're not doing any screen capture or we're not remoting into the system. We're just pointing a camera right at it so you can see the live results. Now, what we had to do here, you can see we're at about, this is bouncing between 118 and, and 120 uh, watts to get to 119 or that 120 point here. There's 119. Uh, we had to drop this power limit down here to about 91 92 93 percent so that gets us really close and we are getting at the moment 119 let's call it 19 no no yeah we'll grab 1994. we've grabbed a few results so far and so far it shows that the ti is barely winning out so right here is our ti results these four and we've tested at 119 watts for both so this is almost the out of the box settings and that made the power limit on the 1660 at that should be yeah 93 percent versus 100 percent on the ti model but that's so we could get the wattages the same here um and these are both gigabyte cards both have the same micron memory in them and the ti was at 2.188 mega hash and the non-TI was at 1.994, so very, very close. And the mega hash per watts, very, very close. Now, when we change this to a more efficient 69.5 watts on both of these, you can see the TI has still been winning out here as we bumped up the memory to one, or uh, excuse me, the core clock to 100. Uh, the TI has still been winning out, but, but it's really close, guys. So we were at 1.778 on the TI versus 1.62 on the non-TI. And we're about to do the last setting here, which should be the most efficient of all of them, which is somewhere around that 90 watt range, which will give us that balance of mega hash per watt versus actual mega hash that we're throwing at it for payouts. There we go. All right. So it's 70% power limit on the 1660. We're right at about 89 to 90 watts. All right, here we go. What do we got over here? We're at 69% power limit, plus 100, plus zero. And that has us around 89 watts, 87, 88, 89. We're right around 1.9 mega hash, 1.913. Yeah, all right. Okay, guys, so this is where we're going to call it right here. We've got 1.913 mega hash at 89 watts on the 1660 versus 2.05 mega hash at 89 watts on the 1660 Ti. So, so close, guys. So close. You could really make the argument to go with the 1660 for a Z coin specific build. We're looking at less than 10 percent so it's so close as this bounces around really you're looking at between five and maybe eight percent difference with the ti model versus the non-ti okay so there you have it guys we did the testing side by side specific to zcoin and what are the findings here basically the way i see it is yes you could absolutely make the case for a 1660 rig build specific for Zcoin. And you could mine Zcoin directly. You could use NiceHash, convert to Bitcoin if that's okay with you. Uh, there's a lot of ways you could do that if you wanted to convert that to some other currency or just keep your Zcoin. That is a great project. It's a great coin. Uh, and this might be a really good option for you. What I can't speak to is the buying power that's been mentioned to me of your local fiat currencies around the world. But what I can verify for you is if it's definitely much stronger for the 1660 versus the TI than it is here for us in the United States. I think we're at about a $50 price difference. If I look on Amazon, the TI is still $279. We didn't get that price drop we were hoping for with the new models that came out. And the non-TI is still $229. And usually you can get this a little bit less than that, maybe $10, dollars $10, $20 less at, at various times. So, but, but generally in the U.S., you're looking at about a $50 price swing there. Uh, if you're going to build a new rig and you're going to set it on Zcoin and leave it there for six months, then there's, you know, you can save some money, $50 per card on that build. Now, if you're going to be moving around a bit, um, 
maybe want to protect against the future value of the card. That's just my opinion. That's, you know, that's just my opinion. You may want to go with the TI model still, but there's definitely something to be said that uh, we should have probably pointed out the first time around with the strength of the 1660 on Z coin. Um, it's not quite as strong as what, uh, what to mine is showing. And that's why you always just use what to mine as a jumping off point, a place to get ideas and to move on from there. So we verified that it does compete, but it's not uh, better than the TI on Z coin. Now, that being said, let me know if you've tested the 1660, the 1660 Ti, any of those, and you've had some real success. Maybe there's something else where you've seen a very, very close head-to-head -head matchup on a different algorithm. Leave that in the comments below. If you've gotten some really good settings that you like and you're showing some really good results these days, leave that in the comments below so that we can all take a look at it, try to recreate it, benefit from it, and learn from what you got going on. All that being said, this was a lot of fun pitting these head to head again, sort of revisiting this matchup. It makes me rethink things a little bit uh, for for buying decisions in the future. There's so many new cards that have come out here recently with the super cards, with the new AMD lineup. However, I wish I could say that we had loads and loads of choices to choose from in cards. And for me on this channel, I have a really hard time recommending anything other than the 1660 Ti and the 1660 models. Now, I do like you know what's going on with a, a few of these other models, but from an efficiency standpoint, I just don't I don't think that these other cards can compete. Certainly, from a mega hash per second, uh, they absolutely do. They they can they can crush the 1660 Ti's. But when you start optimizing the cards and looking at the efficiency, I, I think this is just the way to go. But anyway, I'm rambling on now. That is all I've got for today, guys. If you've got any questions, you got anything else you want me to test? This was a lot of fun. This was a really good test. Uh, and if there's anything you saw in the data that you want to point out, let me know. I'll leave a link to the spreadsheet in the show notes below. And we will see you in the next video, Raptors. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Like